Hi all, uh, welcome to the session on CMA part 1, Financial Reporting, Planning, Performance and Control. In this session, we will discuss about high-low method which is used which is used to find the fixed and variable costs from the total costs given at different activity levels. This technique we use to you know find out what is the fixed cost and what is the variable cost of a given activity level. When we find activity level that is the production capacity we know that we know that the, the, the total cost the total cost is made up of both fixed and variable so we use hilo method to find out fixed and variable costs from the total cost given at different activity levels now we use this hilo method to find out fixed and variable cost from the total cost from the total cost we calculate what is the fixed cost and what is variable cost we have total cost here at at an activity level from which we should be able to find the fixed cost and variable cost then when you see the total cost is made up of both fixed and variable cost it is nothing but mixed cost so now we are calculating mixed cost we are calculating using the mixed cost both fixed and variable using total cost that is called now mixed cost we are calculating both fixed and variable cost for that we use a method called high low method high low method what is the need for high low method i have different activity levels i have different total costs as we discussed if you remember we discussed about differential costs when you produce different you know number of units the cost varies from the total quantity to total quantity so i want to know the fixed and variable components of the total you know cost given so we use hilo method to find out the fixed and variable cost so that we can use it for estimating the future cost at a at an estimated output at an estimated output because the variable cost varies according to the production and fixed costs remain constant then what would be the total cost what would be the total cost for a forecasted activity level we understand this with a calculation with the calculation so the steps used in a hilo method is to first of all to find out the variable cost step 1 we calculate variable cost variable cost per unit the formula what we use to find out variable cost per unit is the change in the total cost divided by change in the units but we have various activity levels how do you find the change what activity levels we need to take in the highest output total cost minus the total cost of lowest output divided by the number of units produced at highest output minus the number of units produced at lowest output when you see this formula you may see that it's a complicated one but it's not in fact this change in the dollar amounts between the total activity levels highest and lowest divided by total change in the total activity level number of units produced that's it but remember dollar change should be the numerator unit change should be the denominator dollar change should be the numerator change in units should be the numerator once you find the variable cost you can find out the fixed cost you have a formula remember uh, total cost equals to fixed cost plus variable cost 
Now we want to know the fixed cost. Therefore, fixed cost equals to total cost minus variable cost. We can revise the formula this way. Fixed cost equals to total cost minus variable cost. So total cost, total cost we know that the activity level cost is given. From that total cost, we need to find out variable cost. Then total cost, which one you should take? Highest activity level or lowest activity level? Any activity level you can take, either highest or lowest. Again, this formula also you will clearly understand when I uh, give you an exercise here. Let's work on exercise one exercise and you'll understand this formula. But before that, keep in mind that we in step one, we calculate variable cost. In step two, we calculate fixed cost. Then the total cost equals to fixed cost plus variable cost. Remember here, variable cost per unit times number of units produced will give you variable cost. That should be added to fixed cost to find out the total cost. This is what we use in estimating the total cost for a given or for a planned activity level. And we can use even various analysis like break-even analysis. Let's work on one example so that you'll clearly understand. But recall your formulae. Steps. Step one, we calculate the variable cost. Step two, we calculate fixed cost. For that, what you need to know is from this activity levels, see the activity level, we produced 100 units in the month of January. The total cost of producing 100 units is $2,500. In February, we produced 80 units. The total cost is $2,200. March, units total cost. April, number of units produced, total cost. And May, we produced 120 units and the total cost is $3,000. What you need to do is, before you apply the, form, the formula in step one and step two, you just identify what is the highest activity level from the units column, units column. Activity level can be selected from units column. Units, highest activity level. You observe here, 180, 108, 105, 120. This is my highest activity level and its total cost. Then find out lowest activity level lowest activity level. 80 units is my lowest activity level and $2,200 is the lowest activity level. This is what you need to do first. So the dollar amount what we spent at lowest activity level is available and the dollar amount what you spent at highest activity level is available. Quantities are available lowest activity level 80 units highest activity level 120 units. Then we can follow step one and step two to find out variable cost and fixed costs. Now let's continue with the same exercise. Highest activity level is 120 units with a total cost of $3,000. The lowest activity level is 80 units with a total cost of $2,200. You need to find out highest activity level and lowest activity level before you follow step one and step two. Now we have the costs and the activity levels. Let us apply the formula. We know that variable cost is calculated using the formula change in the cost, change in the cost, divided by change in the units. But which cost and which units? That's an important thing. Change in the cost at highest output level, change in the cost, uh, oh, sorry, change in the uh, cost can be calculated by, you know, uh, uh, showing the difference between the total cost at highest output level and total cost at lowest activity level. So it total 
cost at the highest activity level is three thousand dollars. Total cost at lowest activity level is two thousand two hundred dollars. Three thousand dollars minus two thousand two hundred dollars divided by number of units produced at highest activity level one twenty units minus number of units produced at lowest activity level that is 80 remember always dollar amount is a numerator and the number of units produced is the denominator dollar amount is a numerator number of units produced is the denominator do not reverse it yeah now denominator 120 units minus 80 units difference in total cost is $3,000 minus $2,200, $800 divided by difference in units, 120 units minus 80 units is 40 units. So $800 divided by 40 units is $20. What does it mean? Per unit, per unit, we are spending the uh, a variable cost of $20. Say for example here in the month of January, we have a total cost of 2500 total cost as you know that is the total of both fixed and variable at 100 units activity level we know that 20 dollars is a variable cost per unit what should have be in the total variable cost at 100 units level 100 100 units times 20 dollars per unit the Total or uh, variable cost should have been $2,000. We can calculate like this. We can calculate like this. Now let's show you. Let us show, let us, let us uh, see the second uh, step. What is the second step to calculate the fixed cost? Remember, you know the formula. Fixed cost is uh, uh, the difference between the total cost and variable cost. We have a formula. Total cost equals to fixed cost plus variable cost. From this formula, we can derive this equation. Fixed cost equals to total cost minus variable cost. Total cost, let us now take at highest output level. Highest output level. What is the total cost at highest output level? This is the highest output level and the total cost is $3,000. $3,000 minus variable cost per unit. We calculated in step two, step one. That is twenty dollars. Yeah, this is the three thousand dollars is the total cost at highest activity level, minus twenty dollars per unit times one twenty units of highest activity output level, one twenty. So three thousand dollars is the total cost, and two thousand four hundred is the variable cost. Therefore, our fixed cost is six hundred dollars. Question. We should apply in only highest activity level to find out the fixed cost? No, even you can use the lowest activity level to find out the fixed cost. Either you can use lowest activity level or highest activity level to find the fixed cost. We used highest activity level here to find the fixed cost, which is $600. You know, we know that the fixed cost remains same within the relevant range that is between 80 units and 120 units now let us find that whether fixed cost remains same even in the case of lowest activity level or not that is at 80 units let's check once now we are using lowest activity level that is the total cost at 80 units is 2200 dollars which consists of both fixed and variable but we want to know what is the fixed cost we know variable cost per unit we know that the formula to find fixed cost is uh, to deduct variable cost from the total cost given total cost at lowest output level is 2200 dollars 2200 minus variable cost variable cost of producing 80 units each unit variable cost is $20 and we produced 80 units. $20 per unit times 80 units 
that is 1600 and the total cost is 2200 we know that the variable cost is 1600 therefore the fixed cost is $600 my advice is to find this fixed cost please use either highest activity level or lowest activity level only do not touch any other activity levels okay in the exam do not touch any other activity levels to find out the fixed cost use either highest activity level or lowest activity level only sometimes it may not match with other activity levels for the information given in the examination so you follow only either highest activity level or lowest activity level but do not touch any other activity level to find out the fixed cost now what other way the hilo method is used we can we can express the mixed cost mixed cost at a given activity level using this standard equation say we have 80 units to 120 units tomorrow we plan to produce say for example 90 units 90 units fixed cost remains same variable cost per unit remains same but here the number of units is going to be 90 so you can estimate the cost of producing 90 units so within this activity level between uh, 80 and 120 you can find you can estimate the total cost of any number of units not to exceed 120 units not below 80 units that's a relevant range 80 units to 120 units is a relevant range let us now find the total cost with the different activity levels what would be the cost what would be the cost if you produce 60 units 60 units you can calculate 1800 what would be the cost if you produce 90 units so 600 plus 20 units times 90 units 20 dollars per unit times 90 units produced so 1800 plus 600 it is going to be 2400 dollars what would be the total cost if the relevant range is like 130 130 units 130 units times 20 dollars plus 600 what would be the total cost if you produce 110 units 110 units fixed cost remains same 20 dollars per unit is the variable cost 1110 units is a production 110 times 220 2200 plus 600 2800 is the total cost so you can estimate the total cost you can estimate the total cost for a given activity level This is the end of the session on Hilo method. See you in the next session. Until then, have a nice time. Goodbye.